Hello my friends, welcome back to Sam Time Tomorrow. Today is exciting because... It is time! It's time, I think it's finally time. The date today is May 7th and I looked at the forecast, it doesn't dip below 45 degrees in the next 10 days. So, let's get these planted! But do you guys want to see how the garden's doing? Let's go on a mini garden tour. So first off, I have some squirrel, maybe multiple squirrels, digging little holes in my mulch. There must be some kind of seeds. I don't think it's anything else. I think it's a squirrel. I think they're having a little bit too much fun in this garden bed. But over here, I have onions starting to sprout. My daughter planted some onions in her garden bed. I don't know what type of mushroom these are, but I think they're so pretty. Some more onion sprouting. The peas are growing. I still need to reseed the carrots. And over here, this is my potato bed, but we're starting to see some pretty cute little sprouts. Also, we have little cute strawberries starting to form. And I also think it's time to harvest this cauliflower. It may not be the biggest head of cauliflower, but I grew it. I was kind of slacking on fertilizer, so I have a few more cauliflower plants that I plan on feeding and possibly getting more big heads in the future. I think I have enough time that they'll still come to head and they won't just go to seed, but we'll see. I also have some broccoli coming to head. Here is my cabbage plant. As you know, the other cabbages I had went to seed. My neighbor gave me some fresh cabbage plants that they planted later in the season. So we'll see how they do. Some cilantro. I also think this lettuce is ready to eat. So I am going to pick that today too. And eat a little meal for my garden. Maybe I can get my daughter to eat a salad with me. The raspberry bush is out of control. I think I need to trim it back a little and possibly stake it because it is just growing out into the yard. But this is one that will bear fruit twice in a year and we have some flowers forming. I also need to give this a good feeding because it is just huge. And here's the garlic. Throughout the season, the fall season and winter, I was really good about keeping this fed and before I planted it, I put a bunch of compost in this bed because I had peppers in this bed beforehand and they just weren't doing so well. So I wanted to make sure the soil was nice and healthy for the garlic. I have this big pot that I put some more potatoes in and I'm just gonna keep heaping soil on top as they grow up, but they're also starting to sprout. And I have some beautiful chives with their beautiful purple flowers. And this is one of my favorite flowers because it's low maintenance, it becomes a big bush, and it comes back every year. I'll tell you something, I like a flower that comes back every year because it just makes the garden that much easier and prettier. That is Dianthus. I started buying them at the store. I don't know if I have any that survived with the move of these garden beds, but I had some black ones that I got from Breaker Creek that were so pretty. I think there might be one out front still, so I hope that blooms. Over here I have some lettuce, dill, cilantro, and these are zinnias. And unfortunately in my last video, I had some issues with some of my tomato plants. They are no longer with us but I still have plenty of others. Not as many Romas as I would like, at least different Roma varieties, but we'll still make do with what we have. But it is time to just get these friends in their final home. So what I'm gonna do to prep the garden is I'm gonna get some organic fertilizer, I'm gonna get the holes where the plants are gonna be and put that in there so that way they get an extra dose of food 
I think I'm also going to get in my compost bin and sift through that and get the compost that's done and plant that up with my plants as well. To get my garden bed ready for the plants, I am just getting holes ready, getting the spacing correct, and once I'm done with that, I'm going to start putting my fertilizer in there. So I have blood meal that's good for nitrogen. I'm putting it in the holes, and when I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to phosphorus, which is um, good for calcium, good for um, making sure you're not going to get blossom and rot on your plants. Then I'm going to just mix it all in, making sure the plants aren't going to get burned by it, and that it sinks in deeper so as the roots grow, it's getting fed. We're getting pepper plants in the ground. I love peppers, they are my favorite. Peppers and tomatoes, I could eat them all the time. A few other things I wanna get done other than planting out the garden, so I just feel like you know we're in full swing getting everything we need done, is I have this area beside the greenhouse that I want to mulch and cover up so no weeds are growing back here. I might put a garden bed right here and I'm also debating putting a little garden bed right here. So there are a few more garden beds I want to build. I still have some mushroom compost that needs a home so why not use it in more garden beds, right? This is actually a potato plant so I'm actually going to try to remove that and give it a new home because it's looking really good. I think this is looking better already. I just have to finish mulching the back and then I have a pile of wood over here I need to do something with. And hey, this is my poor rosemary bush that was thriving and then we put up the greenhouse and it wasn't getting sunlight or much water. Do you think I can salvage it? I think it's done for. I'm thinking about putting this small garden bed, it's about 24 by 24 inches here or maybe a little bit of a wider one just to keep this contained and I was playing around with what I already had to see if I could possibly get a garden bed right here but I'm still playing around with that as well all right my friends I think this is where I'm gonna leave you there are still plenty of things to get done in the garden um, I just want to be able to upload this video for Sunday so I can have it edited I have over 20 to 25 peppers already planted. I have my to tomatillos planted. I have at least 12 tomatoes planted and there's still more I want to get in the ground. Definitely more peppers. Hoping at least five more tomato plants and I want to get two more garden beds finished. So the next video you're going to go on the grand tour with me. I'm going to show you the blueberry bushes. I'm going to show you the blackberry bushes. I've showed you my raspberry bush. That thing is a beast. But I want to thank you for joining me on this video. If you want to watch the garden grow with me, you want to join me in the garden, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. I'm hoping we have an abundance of vegetables and fruit growing and that we're able to preserve some of them by canning them, by freeze drying them, and just getting to enjoy them fresh because there's nothing like going outside, grabbing a tomato, grabbing some lettuce, grabbing an onion, grabbing chives, whatever you're in a need for going inside and using it right away. I did that today with some lettuce and chives and I used them on burgers mm, and they were so good. I just like going outside and shopping the garden. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And like I said, go ahead and subscribe, join me. We're gonna have fun here. I'm doing other videos, I'm doing crafting videos, I'm doing kitchen videos. And if you have any suggestions or comments you'd like to leave me, go ahead and do that. Thank you.